very powerful song. Very powerful song. Okay, let's go to the word of God. We are in Deuteronomy chapter 2 and verse 24. I'm still continuing. He's talking about the point of the land factor. The land factor. Deuteronomy chapter 2 verse 24 say, Rise up, take your journey, and pass over the river Enon. Behold, I have given into thine hand Sihon, the Amorite king of Heshbon, and his land. Begin to possess it and contend with him in battle. When we are talking about the land factor, we need to understand a few things. Number one has said, land is very important to God. Very, very important to God. And with that land, there are certain things the kingdom of God cannot achieve in life. So we are talking about an important subject very close to the heart of God. With so many churches in coronavirus shutdown of the nation, which were shut down and broken down by landlords and landladies, because the pastors could not pay rent. And most of those churches have not yet even come back today. When a church does not own land, it is in serious trouble. That's why many churches were broken down in coronavirus shutdown. So the land factor is very, very important. I want to learn about three, I want you to learn three things in this portion of scripture. Or four. Number one, rise up. If you are to possess land, you must rise up. You must rise up. Number two, take your journey. Possession of a land will take a time. It is a journey. That's why some of you at 40 years, you don't have a plot in Uganda. Others at 50, they don't own a plot in Uganda. Some even go to 70. Because possessing land is a journey. And that's why I'm sharing this message with you. If you have not started on this journey, start it now. It might take you 10 years. It might take you 20 years. But you start the journey. Number one, you rise up. Number two, you take the journey. Number three, you pass over river Anon. Now when you are talking about river Anon. In those years. There was no bridges on rivers. You all know that. That's why when the children of Israel were getting out of Egypt to go to the promised land through the Red Sea, God had to perform a miracle across the Red Sea because there were no bridges. I was in Congo preaching the gospel sometime. Congo rivers don't have bridges. After preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ in Bukavu City. Bukavu is as big as Kampala. So I got a Land Rover. We began to drive 600 miles to book to, to, to from Bukavu to 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 Goma. 
By midnight on our way, we came across a river. So what they do in Congo, when you reach a river, you look for the shallowest part of it where you cross. So the driver said, we are approaching a river and there is no bridge. We are going to drive where the Land Rover will stop, we shall push it from there. So he came all the way with the high speed. We entered into the water. In the middle of the river, the Land Rover swallowed some water and stopped the engine. So we had to get out, push the Land Rover from midnight up to 4 a.m. in the morning until we cross. So when you had the president building roads in Congo, some of you don't know what he's doing. There are no bridges, roads in Congo. So when we say Passover River Anon, he's trying to show us the difficulties of owning a piece of land. Behold, I have given unto thee in thine hand Sihon the Amrad king of Heshbon and his land. Be, begin to possess it and contend with him in battle. So there are five major thing, things that if you need to understand about land. Number one I have given you his land. Land is everywhere. Everywhere. Land is in Kotido. Land is in Buganda. Land is in Sebei. Land is in Acholi. Land is in Lango. It is everywhere. But you must do these four things. One rise up no sleeping rise up make it a priority number two take your journey begin that journey by savings it can take you 25 years to own a 50 by 100 piece of land but you must begin on that journey you must start that journey some of you who don't have land start that journey today start it today Land ownership is a journey. Especially to many of us who are born in unfortunate families. Where our parents left nothing for us. You begin your journey. You pass over the river. Very tiresome system. Sometimes you can even drown. They even cheat you. It is a river without a bridge. You look for the shallowest part where you can cross. Where you can swim a little bit. Where your waters can reach you up to here. It is a struggle to own land in Uganda. You rise up. Number two, take the journey. Number three, you cross the river. Tire some journey. Sometimes the rivers are flooded with water. But make a decision to do that. And number four, contend with him in battle. Land possession is a war. I've said land possession 
Satan is a war. If you are not willing to fight, forget about it. That's why mothers yes, connect with their children and they kill their father to own the land because they don't want to go into the battle. Note those four words which are underlined there. Rise up. Don't keep low. Take the journey. It took us many years to own land. It will take you some time to own land. Those of you who have got land already, you know the process you went through. It is a journey. Government using Take rise up and take on the journey. Stop eating yourself and crying. Take on the journey. Golo you think that Museven and these people that were in the bush, the twinnies, the Kategayas, the mamas, the Chizavis, are they still in the bush? In the Triangle. When they reached a river, what did they do? When they reached River Mayanja in the bush, was there a bridge? bridge? Was there a bridge? When they reached Katonga in the bush, was there a bridge? No. Neither. You went to the bush and we didn't send you there. You went to fight your own oh, battle. River, but you found a river in the bush. There is no bridge in the bush. What, what do you do? You make every effort to cross the river. If you don't cross, remember Obote armies are following you. Owning land in Uganda is a struggle. You must rise up to the occasion. You must take that long journey. Some of you buy your first plot while you are at 65, 63 years of age. That's how long the journey will be. Some of you will buy your first plot when you are 27. That's how long the journey will be. Are those people who are going to die without a plot, without land in Uganda? That's what pains me. Rise up. Take your journey. Start saving slowly by slowly. Even if you save money for 15 years, it is worth a journey. It's worth the journey. And when you start the journey, do not stop in the middle. When I was to come to, when I was coming to Kampala, I wake up with the frogs of midnight. We knew how the frogs of midnight croaks. We know how they croak. Yes. We know those of 3 a.m. with those 6 a.m. We know how frogs grow. I began the journey in my shorts of Kachi. I put on primary seven and my short sleeve green shirt like the one of Chiwafu. 
No, no, no. The, the, the one of Sam, Sam is green. And I began to walk. I know where I was going was very far. And I have never been to Kampala, so I didn't even know where Kampala was. But I said, I'm going to walk. By 6 a.m., I was in Gayaza. Six hours later, I was in Gayaza. By 9 a.m., I was in Kampala. After walking for nine hours, I never turned back. Up to today, I've never gone back to the village. When you begin the journey, whether there are rivers in the journey, you look for ways to cross them. Otherwise, you never own land. So it is rising, taking the journey, crossing rivers. Sometimes in the rivers, there are even crocodiles. Do you see the students that go to work in Saudi Arabia? Crocodiles are in the river. There are crocodiles waiting for them in the rivers. Somebody goes to Saudi Arabia to work. Now again, the Oman. To go and own money. Oman. To Oman. Abdabi. Abdabi. Jordan. To Jordan. Iran. Iran. Turkey. Turkey. Avan are risking their lives to go for a better future. They risk their lives for a better future. I was telling the people in the first service point that camera in me I want all of you to know that in the constitution of the Arab nations it is inscribed that an Arab is allowed to buy a human slave by constitution so go there while knowing it. Arabs by constitution are allowed to buy Africans as slaves. All the Arab countries it is constitutional. So when they mistreat you there you cannot report to any police station because police because it's police that handles the law the police in Saudi Arabia knows and is allowed for a man in Arabia to buy a slave from Entebbe. Nezino agencies as Vatuale Saudi Arabia, Ne Jordan, Zituala Badu, Baba Bakugula da Okuita Mu agency. And even these agencies that take you to Arabia, to those countries, they've already sold you there as a slave. The rich man in Saudi Arabia pays this agency $5,000. Omugage Saudi Arabia asasula agency no $5,000. In Kamocha. In Kamocha. To get her a slave. Bamufuni lomudu. So you board the plane at Entebbe Airport. No, you have been bought as a slave. Go and work. And the years you have been bought are already in the paper form. Either you have been Two years, three years, or four years. If you don't finish the contract, contract they can even kill you. So somebody goes, he rises up and takes the journey. Christian school. 
Some of us here, some of some of those parents they throw their children to school and they go director will not come back in four years and they say my aunt will be coming to come to see the child and then come to see the child but I'm not coming back in four years sent as well as a lady a woman goes to work as a slave he takes on the journey he crosses rivers he works for money and sends the money to the aunt in Gaiaza instead of the aunt buying land for that person the aunt uses the money somebody goes to work as a slave in Jordan he walks a long journey he crosses rivers he works in a house big as this building one person he works for his money and sends that money to his uncle and uncle to build a house for him and the uncle uses that money and tells pictures of the neighbor's house and tells him this is a nyumba to say taking pictures of somebody else's house and a child the person work as a slave do you know that these girls are even beaten while working in those houses some of them are even starved but they have chosen to rise up to take the journey to pass the river so that they bought a piece of land in Garuga so that he buys a piece of land in Buwaya and the people they trust back home they act as crocodiles in the river and they eat every money their daughters send back. That pains me. Let me say it again. Our young boys and girls who went to Middle East countries through agencies as slaves. If they pass through agencies, they are slaves. Badu. And they are constitutional slaves. Badu. You cannot report your boss anywhere for mistreating you. You hear them saying we are suffering being locked in the house. You cannot intervene in any way. If the government of Uganda cannot rescue them once you sign the contract you signed it to become a slave. You signed it to become a slave. Which is okay. If at all you are rising, take the journey to buy land. It is okay. What is not okay is after being a slave for three years and your relatives eat all the money you have been sending. With all that pain, with all the scars, and the beatings, the crocodiles in the river as you cross, they eat whatever you have sweated for. That hurts me. That hurts me. So, for the people who shall buy land you have to keep these four things in your mind arise take the journey 
pass over the rivers and finally contend with them in battle buying land in Uganda is a battle Uganda anywhere in the world buying land is a battle and some people die in that battle do you know people have died because of land issues? Buying land is a battle. And this land that I'm talking about here, Behold, I have given it into thine hand. Shino, the Amorite king of Heshbon, and his land. Bano Katonda Yabawa Kabaka, Namu Bawa, Namu Erakone Takari, Nayana Abagamba, Temuja Kuritu Alanga, Temuruani Oyo Musaja Kube Mundu. Nayana Takandi Bawa. And to these people, God gave them the king and his land, but he told them, you have to fight with him, though I've given you the land. I have given him into your hand, the king of the Amorite, King Heshbon. I have even given his, his land to you. Go and possess it. But you have to contend with him. And many of them died. Land is a battle. And for those of you who joke around and your land is being taken, you have something wrong. Land is a battle. Land is a war. When you get your land, do not play around with it. Do not play with it. Land is a battle. Whoever wants to take your land is your enemy. Fight for your land. If you have it. Even if you die while fighting, they will bury you there. So if you own land, for those of you young men, you rise up to the occasion. No, you follow a priority. You make it a priority. Whether you are 25, start from there. Rise up. Number two, begin that journey. Either by working hard, by sleeping late, by saving, by sacrifice, start that journey. Every obstacle river you come by, make sure you swim and cross over. You'll be entangled with problems and crocodiles on the way. There are even people who, who sell air. You've worked for your 20 million shillings for nine years. And somebody says to you, air. That one, die, die with that person. I will die with him. I've been sacrificed for nine years. But then if it is okay, I come in. And you are selling me air. When on to one zen pewo. What happened to Desiranta? Desiranta's son. The atam is a big thing of Amisha. Who walked on foot from the from the village? Never by journal, my jagam is seven. Then if by journal in seven is Ami. When I didn't come with Amisha, I was sad. Jana. When I started the journey from the village, I didn't come with you. There are people who sell air. That's why I'm giving you these guidelines. When you are buying land, the things you should consider. Let's go back to them very quickly. The general overview. Number, take a general overview first. You should consider these things when buying land. Number one, the general overview. Overview. 
when you are buying land, hey, what is the size of that land? You should have a tape measure. You get a tape measure. Tape measure it, it costs 5,000 shillings. Go and buy it. B. Price. Which, how, oh. much, how much money do you have to buy land? You should be knowing that if I have 7 million shillings, I cannot buy land in Entebbe municipality. There is no land for 7 million in Entebbe municipality. You go to Nakawuka because it is there. 